Eric Alona, the victim's family believes the young boy was targeted for a number of reasons. Now, this is the very intersection where Xavion Parker gets off of the school bus and heads home each and every day. He says he first saw a red truck with flames on the side on Friday. Yesterday, he was approached by the same vehicle, and things went downhill from there. It's a scary ordeal that sounds straight out of the movies. Houston Police Department responded to reports of a missing child Monday after Xavion Parker never showed up after school. He was found safe a couple of hours later, but what he says happened to him has his family shaken. Parker says as he was walking home from the bus stop, a red truck pulled up and several young men grabbed him and pulled him inside, all while the adult driver cheered them on. From there, he says he was taken to an abandoned property full of guns and torture items. He was assaulted and punched, and his phone, shoes, and jacket were stolen. When the group was in the other room, he managed to make it out and take off as fast as he could. That's when driver Carmesia Carmouche saw him running down Loxley near Wayside and stopped to ask if he was okay. She called police and eventually got him home safe, but Michelle Lee says she won't feel peace until the suspects are caught. HPD says the driving suspect is described as a white man with a heavy build, straight orange hair, and tattoos on his arm, one of which is a racial slur. The reason why they got him, because they said he was black, you deserve to die. Exactly his words, and he said the dad had like a white muscle shirt on, and you could see, he said it was right here, big as day. I hate black people. Parker was checked out as a precaution, but doesn't appear to have any serious physical injuries. Another bizarre detail in all of this, though, Parker's mom says she received strange text messages from his phone like, I'm going to kill him. Coming up tonight at 6, you'll hear from the woman who saw him running down the street. All right, Erica.